This is the newest project that Musk has undertaken and executed, which is Tesla's new tiny house for sustainable living. It makes me wonder that. Is there anything left to do in this world that this person hasn't already done? As we know that he already owns land and space. Truth is, sometimes it feels like he is here to revolutionize every aspect of our lives. And a home like this is one more step towards that goal. Want to know more about it? Then stay tuned to the video. Welcome to Elon Musk Rewind. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship, or basically anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon and billionaire, Elon Musk. With that being said, let's begin. If you are an avid follower of modern technology and keep up with all Elon Musk's recent announcements, you must have heard the big scoop already. Even if you don't know, we are here to share that news with you. Elon Musk has recently unveiled stunning new ideas for Tesla's first tiny house, which will be crammed with cutting-edge technology and high-tech futuristic gadgets. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla Motors, owns a home that costs much less than one Tesla vehicle. Despite this, though, it was Tesla's crazy new compact, sustainable tiny house that prompted him to make an official announcement. He announced in a statement issued on June 14th that he was going to sell his house. The fact that he said in a previous post that his primary residence is a $50,000 house in Boca Chica, may I suggest that we should call it a starbase that he rents from SpaceX? A follower observed that Musk remains in a dilemma regarding his relationship with the media and haters, citing criticism over Musk's wealth and now the sale of his mansions, which has also been mocked. Meanwhile, the same follower revealed that Musk is now living in a boxable casita, a 50k prefabricated home that is not yet widely available, but will be soon, helping to alleviate the housing shortage. There is no question that the designer of Musk's Tesla residence is a talented individual, but who built it and who designed it? And the name is Boxable. In November 2021, Boxable posted a video on YouTube announcing that their company recently completed the construction of a casita house in Boca Chica for a high-profile and top-secret customer. It appears that SpaceX is related to the customer, but Elon Musk could be the customer. According to Galliano Tiramani, co-founder of Boxable, there are a number of reasons why housing has not yet worked in the factory, so we have gone through and resolved all the problems. And he also believes other prefab home manufacturers face the same challenges with shipping logistics. He added, it's meant to be a studio apartment for one or two people. The idea is that this would be targeted towards accessory dwelling units, which are becoming increasingly popular in California. Exactly because of this spark, Boxable's founder Galliano Tiramani decided to launch the brand in 2017, with the aim of transforming building construction worldwide into a factory assembly line, just like any other product. Despite the fact that some of the processes require lifting equipment, the remaining ones are relatively straightforward and can be accomplished by humans. Once the outer wall has been unfolded, it becomes a floor and the two side walls are visible. After the roof has been unfolded, it covers the entire structure. Boxable Casita is described as a studio apartment available in a box that has been designed to be environmentally friendly and energy efficient. There are five rooms in this makeshift house, including a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, a bedroom, and a media room. A boxable house costs $49,500 and is equipped with refrigerator, dishwasher, oven, microwave, built-in ironing center, and low-energy technology for a lower monthly utility bill. There are several reasons why people prefer boxable casita homes in the midst of housing shortages. The biggest one is their time, cost, and labor efficiency in building homes in a factory. As of now, there are close to 50,000 people on the company's waitlist who have expressed an interest in the company's prefab house portfolio, which consists of over 100,000 units. This is not entirely because the fans of Elon Musk want to live as he does at all costs. In fact, it was reported that Boxable had already built a waitlist of 40,000 people before Musk fans joined the group. The average time it takes to build a house is approximately seven months. So far, Boxable has constructed three houses. There is evidence that two of them are present at their headquarters, although it is unclear if the third is also present. Apart from the corporate headquarters, the company operates a brand new 170,000 square foot factory where new orders are about to be filled. Additionally, it is possible to stack and connect the buildings measuring 19.5 by 19.5 to produce larger buildings. Although, if you are seeking a larger prefab home, you may want to wait a bit longer. Tiermani said that the company intends to release larger units in the future. Tiermani claims that Musk's association with the brand has generated interest in housing from a wide audience. He said, the target audience heard about this beforehand 
and then the Musk press brought in general audience interest, maybe someone who didn't care about housing. Boxable claims that folding homes are essential for maximizing transportation efficiency. Typically, these modular homes are 14 feet wide, requiring escorted trucks and the familiar wide load sign while traveling on the highway. Boxable's foldable homes are just 8 feet wide, so they don't require any special assistance from their users. Because of this, the homes can be shipped anywhere at a lower shipping cost. Tiramani said, I think the only way to solve housing is with solutions like this that are technology-oriented. It's really an issue of supply and demand. If there's more supply, price will go down. In the coming weeks, the company will begin making its first order for the Department of Defense, consisting of 156 homes. In the future, it is hoped that the operations will be expanded and more houses will be built. At present, there are more than 100,000 people on the waiting list hoping to find their next home. In some states, you can get free delivery, but there may be an additional charge for remote areas. Note that the $50,000 price includes delivery and unpacking of permits and other fees may be incurred. This property has already been installed with plumbing, electricity, and air conditioning. It's important for you to remember that the Model X is worth $799,990, a higher value than the home itself. Maybe this is why Elon Musk made his decision. Perhaps you have a question in mind about why he should get rid of all those extra belongings? Well, it would seem that Musk is doing this to reduce his carbon footprint as much as possible. Musk does not own yachts or multi-million dollar homes, as do other billionaires. Musk has been trying to live this way for many years. However, the fact that Musk has downgraded his home is not a surprise, even though he continually insists that he will do so. As far as we can tell, Musk is not regretting his decision in the least. Additionally, it is well known that Musk suspended Bitcoin payments for Tesla vehicles due to sustainability concerns, as he sees sustainable development as one of Tesla's core values. So it makes sense that he would want to live in a tiny house. The tiny houses generally consume less energy and require less space than conventional houses, and in the remaining 10%, they can be modified to accommodate snowfall. They are also durable and can withstand snow loads in 90% of North America as well as retrofitted for snow loads in the remaining 10%. Therefore, these houses have less of an impact on the environment. Although the boxable casita can accommodate two people, Musk likely lives with his partner Grimes and their one-year-old son. He once owned a few massive mansions, but he sold his last one in December 2021. Futurism reports that he sold his last home for $30 million and moved into an apartment. In any case, it is unclear if he still rents the prefab he rented earlier this year or if he now owns one that costs $50,000. No matter what the circumstances, we are firmly convinced that it's a more sustainable way of living than owning several different mansions, and we're on board. But what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also, thank you for watching the video. This is us signing off. See you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.